Welcome to the video segment on installing and configuring the Microsoft Loopback Windows Adapter for use with VirtualBoxImages.com files. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to open the control panel and we're going to go to Add Adapter. click on next and select, select yes I have already installed the hardware we'll scroll to the bottom and select add new hardware device and then next we'll select install the hardware that was manually selected and we'll scroll down to Network Adapters and Next. At this point we'll select Microsoft, Loopback Adapter, and Next. Then Next again, and that completes the installation. Now we need to move on to the configuration of the adapter. And we're going to go to our network connections in our control panel. We're going to select the Microsoft Loopback Adapter connection that we just created, which will show up here. Device name shows up as Loopback Adapter. We're going to right click on it and go to properties. We're going to shut off all configure all connections except for TCP IP. We're going to click on properties here on TCP IP to configure the address, we're going to select use the following IP address at 10.10.10.10. The subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0 and we'll leave the default gateway alone. We'll click on advanced here And we'll switch over to the WINS, WINS tag, tab. And we're going to disable NetBIOS over TCP IP. We're going to click OK. We're going to click OK again here on the Internet Protocol properties. And we're going to disable notify me when the network connection has limited or no connectivity. Then we're going to cl select close. If you'd like to see that the connection is available. We're going to open a command prompt and do an IP config and we'll see that we have two IP addresses now listed for this computer. Your IP address that was assigned by your DHCP or that you set as a fixed IP and another address at 10.10.10.10. .10 .10 .10. And that completes this segment of configuring and installing the Microsoft Loopback Adapter.